Yes. The next one is Koinsberg Bridge problem. Koinsberg is the former name of the German city. Okay, so Koinsberg is the nothing but it's a former name of German city. Okay, this picture shows the inner city of Koinsberg with the river Perigee. Okay, this is river Perigee. Okay, the river Perigee. This one is river Perigee. Okay, this river Perigee is divided the city is divided this city Coinsburg into four lands okay this one is uh, land area a and this one is land area b and land area c and land area d okay come again Coinsburg is the former name of the german city first point and this picture is the inner city of Coinsburg with the river perigee the river Perigee is divided the city into four lands. The river Perigee divides the city into four lands. That land is mentioned here A, B and C and D. Okay. In order to travel from one part of the city to another, there exist seven bridges. Okay. So in order to travel from uh, one bridge, uh, sorry, one land. So if we want to travel from this land to this land, they built seven bridges. Okay, this one is one and two and three. This is all called as a uh, bridges. Five and six and seven. <coughs> okay, so in order to travel from one part of the city to another, there exist seven bridges. Okay. So think starting from any of the four land areas, okay, start from any of the land area, either it may be an A or it may be B or C or D, start from any of the land areas A, B, C, D, is it possible, is it possible to cross each of the seven bridges exactly once? So to cross each of the bridge, see if I go from here to here, um, let's see. So is it possible to here I'm, and then here and then here and then from here to here, okay. So again I can't come back. So if I come back here also, I can't come back here and I can't travel land C, right. So starting from any of the four land areas, A, B, C and D, is it possible to cross each of the seven bridges exactly once? I want to traverse only once. I want to traverse the edge only one and come back to the starting point without swimming across the river. So this problem, okay, this question is called as a Coinsberg bridge problem, okay. It's nothing. Is it possible to cross each of the seven bridges exactly once and come back to the starting point without swimming across the river? Okay. This problem is called as Coinsberg bridge problem. Coinsberg is the former name of a German city. This picture so shows the inner city of Coinsberg. This river Perigee divides the land into four land area a and b and c d and there are seven bridges which will uh, use it to go from one land to another land and the question is starting from any of the four land areas a comma b comma c and d is it possible to cross each of the seven bridges exactly once okay is it possible to cross each of the seven bridges exactly once and come back to the starting point without swimming across the river? So this question, okay, this question and this problem is called as Coinsberg bridge problem. Okay, understood? So is it possible to travel from here to all other edges? No, right? So from here to I can go here, but here, but if I come this edges, I can't go again there because I, I will repeat the edges. But the question is, uh, we have to cross the edges, uh, we have to cross the bridge exactly once. Okay, so, so uh, such a thing is not possible. See, if I started from C, from here to here, I can go. After that, 
I can go here. After that, I can go. So, if I want to again back, so I have to reverse, right? So, I can't, um, I can't uh, visit exactly once. So, I, ha I have to repeat the edges, right? But the question is, is it possible to cross each of the seven bridge exactly once? Remember this word, exactly once and come back to the starting point without swimming across the river. Right. So, this problem is called as Coinsberg bridge problem. Okay. And once we found out and analyzed a lot, we come to the solution. Is it possible to traverse like that? No. Yes. A Swiss mathematician Leon Hart Euler also solved, tried to solve this problem. A Swiss mathematician Leon Hart Euler solved this problem. He also provided a solution to the problem and finally concluded that such a walk is not possible. Okay, such a walk is not possible. So, such a walk is not possible. Euler also discovered that it depends on the number of odd vertices present in the network whether any network is traversable or not. Okay, see. Euler found that only those networks are traversable that have either number of odd vertices or exactly two odd vertices. Okay. See, the land is, this land, this picture is represented in this graph. Okay. So, land area A, okay, land area B and land area C and land area D. So, the same problem See land area A to B, there is two parallel edges, right? So, see here it's edges and here it is, that is represented as like this. And A to D is there, so this one is represented this edge. And A to C, again there are two parallel edges, here and here, right? This one is represented like this. So, the same question is represented in the graph representation and Euler found that this traversable is not possible because of number of odd vertices. If number of odd C in a D is, we have 3 vertices and in this A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, if any of the graph presents number of odd vertices or exactly two odd vertices is present then we cannot walk all the edges without repeating it. So, that is the conclusion of this Coinsberg bridge solution. Okay. So, Euler found that only those networks are traversable that have either no odd vertices or exactly two odd vertices. See here if there are two odd vertices. So, here also there and here also odd vertices. So, so here also odd vertices and here also odd vertices. So, exactly odd vertices are present. We cannot able to traverse without repeating the edge. This is called as Coinsberg bridge problem and the solution given by the Euler.